Hey everybody, welcome in to another episode. Today we are going to be making a fun pair of earrings using our brand new nugget set. So these are the earrings. We're gonna be using stainless steel chain and I'm actually just gonna kind of show you my little technique with these. Um, they're, they're, it's kind of a cha-cha style earring, if you will, with just multiple dangles. I just do it in a special little way that I thought might be fun to show you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna make both earrings, and this is just a fun little color order that I thought was nice. So you're gonna need 18 head pins, and once you lay out your pattern, I love the malachite on the bottom because it's my favorite, and then I'm just gonna load them up. Got that peridot and our pre night. Golden rutile quartz, Laramar blue appetite, Acrosite, fluorite, I picked the purpley ones, and then garnet on top. Okay, so next step is I'm gonna grab my one step looper, which is one of my favorite tools ever, and I'm gonna go through and make all my loops pretty quickly. This is just gonna make the loop on top of my head pin so quick. You put it through the tool, through the hole, and squeeze. And I'm sure if you haven't seen me do this before, you may be like, what in the world is that tool? But I use it pretty much every day. So um, it's like magic. But it's really, you know, if you're only doing a couple of loops, I don't love this. Like I don't, I don't really tend to use this tool if I'm only doing a couple of loops on, on a piece because then I have time to really take my time and get out all my tools. But if I'm doing a bunch of head pins, bunch of loops, this is a time saver. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. I love these purple fluorite beads so much. And so you stick it through all the way to the side and squeeze, gives that perfect little loop. And then something that we don't always say, but you have to do is you have to kind of decompress the handle when you pull it off to get to let it come out. All right, so now I'm gonna do the other earring as well. Now I've got my stainless steel chain. This is just a four by five. I think it's a three by four millimeter cable chain. Either way, it's just a little cable chain. And so I'm gonna be working on both ends of it. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and oops, another little thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, make sure all my little loops are open on my head pins. That'll make everything go a little bit faster. Assembly line earrings. This is a flat nose plier. I'm just kind of reopening some of those loops. So once we get to attaching, it goes kind of fast. Now we're ready to start attaching. These are just my little scraps. So we'll start at the bottom. We're gonna do malachite on the bottom. I'm just working off of one continuous piece of chain. And then I'm gonna flip it to the other end and add malachite there. And this is a great way to do it, especially if, you know, you're kind of playing with color, but you know you want, maybe you know you want those. You can kind of, this is just a great way to play with your design. So then we're gonna skip two loops, boom, boom, and put our peridot on the next link. and close that loop. Now do the same on the other end. Skip two links, peridot on that next link. And close. 
And since I already pretty much know my pattern, I don't have to do a lot of thinking. But so then the next, the next thing we're gonna do, skip one link and then you're gonna connect your pre-knight on the opposite side of the next link. So you just skip one full link and then put your pre-knight on the other side. And then close that with your plier. And then you'll move to the other side, do the same. Skip one link and put on the other side of the chain. So that's gonna create some alternation for you. Okay, next is the root tile. And you just follow this pattern all the way up. And I just think it's really, oops, I need to open him a little bit. I think it's kind of an easy way to do it. If you have one long piece of chain, then you can just flip it back and forth. It's also a great way to do it if you have a more, more complicated pattern. This is a pretty easy pattern, but that way you can do it on one side and then do it on the other. Next is Laramar. We're just doing the same pattern. Skip one, go to the other side. Blue Appetite. neon blue appetite to be exact okay next is a rotocrosite looking good so far it's a really pretty way to make a lariat necklace as well whoops Close that up. Other side. Rotocrosite. I guess you could call it an alternating cha cha. Alternating cha cha earring. Okay, add the fluorite to this side. And now we only have one bead left. I'm gonna go ahead and add that last garnet alternating to the other side. But the loop that I add the garnet to is going to be the top loop of my earring. So you can just add your garnet up there. Remember, we're skipping a link in between each pass. And since this is stainless steel chain, I'm going to grab my stainless steel cutters. Just cut the link above that garnet link. There and there. and grab your little ear wires and you definitely you want to make sure that your when you look at your earring you want the top link to be facing forward so that you can see the pretty alternation going all the way down if you don't then you kind of lose I mean actually I like it like that too but it's just up to you you get more of a full spectrum if it's sitting this way rather than this way so you just put your little ear wire on, close that up, and you're done. So that's just a really easy way to make an alternating cha-cha earring. So there they are in all their glory, our little cute still. And here's the, um, the necklace. You can really see all those colors shine. Just a beautiful set of beads. So I hope you guys enjoyed that demo. This is just a classic cha-cha style where they're all, they don't alternate sides, they're all on the same side of the chain.
If you need to pick up any of the tools or supplies we use today, check out the links below. And while you're there, let us know what kind of jewelry you like to make or what you'd like to see us make. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be alerted for future episodes. Thanks for watching.